Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today it's Thursday, so obviously you know what the video is anyway, because it's on the, uh, when you click on this video, but it's on my, my match preview, same as uh, every Thursday. Um, before we get started in this match preview against United, I'd just like to remind you I have got a second channel. It is up and running, but it, I'm not fully on it yet. Um, I'm waiting for a new game to come out before I start fully running it. Um, time you can see me probably upload on that channel. Uh, every time I can't make a Brighton game or, you know, I've got free time like on a Tuesday, maybe a Wednesday, you know, as I said, and then perhaps then Brighton's not playing, or I could get a ticket to a away game. So, you know, if you like to, the gaming channel, you see another side to me, um, which some of you might find pretty interesting. Uh, personally, if you know me, you know, my kind of knowledge is okay. Um, my football, probably a bit better, but as I said, you see another side to me. And, uh, Especially if you're a Call of Duty fan, I definitely give, uh, I definitely would try and get you to subscribe because that's what I'm going to plan most of the time. Um, but anyway, this is what you came for. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So, last time we met against Man United, um, obviously sending the Brighton memories uh, as 1 0 Brighton, uh, pass on road goal. 28 millimetres over the line, something like that, really tight. Uh, Rocco tried to defend it. It weren't that far away, to be honest, but um, it, it was a goal, and that's the goal that kept us up. Um, now, I'll give you the next five fixtures. As I said, I will be doing it until we play five, and then obviously I'll mix it around a bit. Uh, I want to personally talk about our Watford game. Um, I've had a couple of days to reflect on it. I've seen the highlights. Um, you, you've probably seen my vlog on the time, if not, it's in the playlist. Um, we just looked a shambles. I mean, I know people saying don't be too much into it, but Watford, you are. That's the team. No disrespect to Watford. I hold my hands up. You deserve the result. Um, no, we should be getting a point. Maybe three against Watford. As I said, no disrespect to them. I said it in my vlog. They deserve the three points. You can't play like that. This United game, even in this early stage, it could be crucial to our safety. We only stayed up by six points last season. Um, Okay, we lost our first two games, but we did get points when we needed them. Um, and they don't come any easier than United uh, or so-called top six or top eight. But we need to start picking points up um, sooner. Sooner the better, really, with this because how this league be as I said we only stayed up by six points last season so that's a fact um anyway our next five is Liverpool away Fulham at home Southampton away Spurs at home and Man City away now we're playing top four teams in the next three out of five which is Liverpool Spurs and City now Yes, we did draw against Spurs down here. Um, lost to them at Wembley, crucially. Um, but yet again, this is what I'm saying. Need three points, need to come thick and fast. Because these games do come thick and fast. Um, and also I think we need to improve on our away record a lot as well. Uh, our home form ain't just going to hold us this season. Purely because... The only reason we stayed up manufacturally is that the bottom three kept on losing. But we need to perform away from home as well as at home. Uh, don't forget it's 38 games, so that's 19 at home, 19 away. So I'll be looking to pick up 
I don't know, possibly about 10 points away from home this season. Uh, and as I said, that's a tough task, um, especially with uh, so-called top 6 or top 8 or top 10. Um, but we do need to start picking up uh, points away from home as well as just at home. Um, Man United's next 5, Spurs at home, Burnley away, Watford away, been there, and as I said, our last game, Wolves at home, West Ham away. Yet again, no disrespect to United, these three, these three points will be crucial to us. Um, but let's just hope we can do it this week. Um, as I said, we can't play as we did against Watford. That that was not acceptable. Not from a Brighton fan point of view, um, but here's my 1 to 11, and if we play this 1 to 11, I think we've got a bit of a chance. So, in goal, I'll go with Matty Wright. Now, that's possibly the only one I can positive say will actually start. Um, yet again, um, Right back. Now I've had to write two down here. I'm going to go hopefully what most of you guys are saying, but I can't see him starting. I think it will be Shalotto, but I think Martin Montoya should start, start at right back. He's young, he's vibrant. You know, we pay, we pay all his money and, you know, let's give him a shot. Um, Centre back, double D. Uh, Lewis Dunk and Shane Duffy. Uh, as I said, possibly our new centre back could be playing as well. So, um, left back, Bernardo. Uh, didn't have a bad game against Watford, except when he switched to the side due to Bruno's injury. I still ain't had an update on it. I'm looking out for updates and I can't see anything. If you do know what the problem is, please put it down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, Bernardo on the left. Uh, I think it will be Bernardo, but if you don't step out this time, I think it will be back to ball. Um, right side of midfield. Now, I can't see Ischiello starting. Um, I'll be keeping a close eye. I've uh, been trying to hear a few things, but as far as I still know, he's possibly still out for this game. Um, so I went with Anthony Knockhart. Um, as I said, they all had a bad game. I can't separate one from the other for the uh, for the Watford game. Give Knockhart another go. Um, in centre mid, I go with this way. I'm not mispronounced it dreadfully. I'm do apologise. Uh, um, in the other centre mid, David Popper had an excellent season last season, yet but did perform last weekend. Uh, now I left mid. <laughs> Now, most of us are calling him AJ because his last name is hard to pronounce, but we pronounce it as Jackabash. Um, so, you obviously know who, who I mean, it's up on the screen. Uh, and as I've said, I'm going with last week's formation of 4 4 1 1. Uh, just in front of them, Hassan Rose. And the other striker is LaGuardia. Now the striker position. Guys, can you help me out with this? Why do we choose Glenn Murray over? No disrespect to Glenn. Um, nice player. Nice guy to talk to. He's that last 10 minute man now. Um, some of you might disagree. But, unfortunately he is uh, he's in the middle 30s. Uh, he, as I said, last 10 minute man, awesome. But we've got all these young strikers 
Um, now I know Florentina, sorry for mispronouncing his name again. Um, I know he's out injured and he's just coming back, so I know he won't be in here. Tom Ahmed, yet again. Last season, scored dreadfully well, picked up a red guard against Newcastle and couldn't get back in the team. And then Murray came along and started putting a ball in the back of the net. So, you know, that's another shout. And my shout, LaGuardia, why have we spent 25 million? That striker is not in the first 11. Uh, as I said, special in the place of Glenn Murray. Uh, but guys, that's my 1 to 11. This is the video, so it's a bit more longer than usual. But, guys, I hope you're looking forward to the weekend. I certainly am. Guys, you know what? Oh, my, uh, there'll be a link in the description for my second channel. If you want to subscribe, just hit the link and press the uh, subscribe button. Uh, there's one video on that, isn't it? Uh, I'll be lucky to get more done next week. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a big launch in mind for that channel, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, but anyway guys, as I was saying, guys, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and cheer up now.